For the first time in nearly four months, Congressman Madison Cawthorn is addressing on camera why he now wants to seek re-election in the mountains. Now, back in November, he announced he wanted to represent a more conservative district nearby, but maps were redrawn. News 13's Samir Nefsi joins us in the studio, and you spoke to the congressman. Yeah, I attended one of Congressman Cawthorn's meet and greets in Mars Hill Tuesday evening, where the congressman covered everything from speaking out against the Russian invasion of Ukraine to his recent, quote, victory win. And we had a federal judge who kicked that completely out. March 4th, the federal judge tossed a challenge form filed with the State Board of Elections that would have prevented the freshman congressman from seeking re-election. The challenge claimed Cawthorn to be partially liable for the January 6th insurrection. Some people would say you're an insurrection. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we have to realize that in Western North Carolina, we have a huge dichotomy between our mountain counties and the very, very centralized blue dot of Asheville. Uh, and so there's a lot of activists that come out of that area, a lot of people who believe in the Antifa movement. Cawthorn recently filed to run in the 11th congressional district after originally filing outside of his home district before the voting maps were redrawn. And a lot of people speculated that you filed in the 13th district just because it would be a little bit easier for a Republican to win. Regardless of what district was in, they're both very safe Republican seats. And, you know, we, we know that as a, as a fact. Um, and they're not, they, I think that I'm very happy that the courts gave me all of my mountains back aside from Avery and Mitchell. Why should constituents welcome you back? I know there was some uh, people who felt like you might have abandoned the mountains whenever you went for the 13th district. That's interesting. You know, number one, we were just trying, being tactical, trying to expand the conservative movement. We want less establishment Republicans in Washington, D.C. So that's the reason why we made that move. But now that we've come back, you know, we just ran a poll. We have over 80% approval rating among GOP voters. Uh, so we're very confident we'll win in a landslide again. Cawthorn is up against 13 candidates in the 11th district. Seven of them are Republicans. What do you have to offer that they don't? Uh, number one, I'll be a sophomore member of Congress. Uh, so that is very a uh, big t point to take is that once you're a sophomore member, you have more seniority so you can get better place on different committees. Uh, you're able, capable of being able to push more legislation through because more people owe you favors. record according to congress.gov he sponsored 23 bills all of which have yet to gain any traction now according to govtrack.us Cawthorn missed 34 of the 510 roll call votes since taking office in January of 2021 he missed 6.7 percent of the votes while the average for a representative missing roll call votes is 2.1%. Now you can catch the full interview with Congressman Cawthorn. Just look for this story on WLOS.com. The primary is set to take place May 17th. In studio, Sabir Nafsi, News 13. And some